We seek to see a world where people they are in the forefront of addressing the challenges they face. Fighting global warming, climate change, and fighting off hunger and starvation, as well as poverty. We use the second-hand clothes in a way that people can actually build up their own lives. At the same time, we are protecting the environment because to make a new piece of cloth, it takes a lot of natural resources. What we receive and what other people call waste, it's a very, very tiny, small percentage, maybe 0.01% of all the clothes which we receive for a year. They saw when they rob, but a part of the rob is possible to produce another thing locally. Para além de vender, os clientes doam para o próximo, para quem é necessitado, mas além de doar, também reciclam a roupa. Alguns casos até fazem tapetes, que por sua vez até voltam a vender os próprios tapetes, mas num outro molde. Se eu falo sobre o material de material dos clothes que vem, é também usado, não é tirado. We make sure that they realize profit out of Popio so that they should be able to support their families. We see ourselves in this business of second-hand clothes. It's having a multiple effect that it contributes positively to the many people. The globe is faced by many challenges. Humana people to people is a movement. Our programs and projects, which are tailor-made specific to deal with some of these issues. Currently, we're working with 30,000 farmers. We have started a program of planting trees, promoting the issue of fruit tree production in the community and working together with the community. In farming is a business. I usually want to encourage people that they should rely on farming because what we need is to be self-sufficient, self-reliant. When we actually are that way, we really know we are a happy people. They will use this tree nursery that we have for them to learn more on how best they can also raise the trees. When they go back home, they can take a lead in securing the nature, the environment. The future is about the people, and it is us people who should take the responsibility. Aqui in Mozambique, we are in a país where passa cyclones, principalmente aqui em Beira, que há, há quatro anos atrás, quando tivemos o, o ciclone Idai, teve uma destruição enorme e muitas pessoas perderam a vida. Na verdade, o que eu assisti no momento do Idai, do dia 3, 14 de março de 2019, primeiro houve vento, vento forte, do pé do mar. Aqui não, não só havia mesmo casa, tinha caído sobre Alva tinha caído, então, com aquilo aí, para no sábado, dia 15 para dia 16, caiu-se no sábado, às 4 horas, amanhecemos aqui, só estamos a ver água, nem para correr para onde, onde não sabia. Não se fosse esse, esse ADPP, a morrer aqui, podia desistir ou podia morrer por através de fome. Porque não tinha nem de cobertor, nem panela, nem manta, nem panela, nem prato, nem colher, nem garfo, nem faca, nem o quê. Mas no momento, por isso eu falo mesmo, a DPP ajudou muito nessa comunidade e os membros também que fazem parte da associação. The good actions we do, those are the actions which will create a better future for tomorrow. The world you are living today is full of challenges. So what we are doing here, all these activities, they are there to help people and to conserve the environment for future use so that tomorrow will be certain, that even the future generation will be safe.